Um, this is the unboxing of a 100 degrees eyepiece. This is the APM 13 millimeter, which is more versatile than uh, other uh, lens. So I'm just going to have this now. Okay, now I have uh, opened the box. Oh, what is this? Universe to go. Is it advert or brochure? Hmm. That's a virtual reality, guys. Interesting. Anyway, nothing to do with like this. Bubble. This must be the package. What is inside? Nothing else. Just a box. Okay. I'll put the box away. The advert go in the box. And this is the eyepiece. I try to open the eyepiece. The box is quite large, like a really big, uh, yeah, big tablet. What is written on it? APM Ocular HDC XWA 13 mm 100 degrees, two inch and one and a quarter inch. Uh, uh, in this, well, this variety has actually hydro hydrogen, nitrogen purged. Uh, that means that it uh, it will not let the moisture or fungus go inside or dust go inside. So this is the eyepiece. This is a cap. This is a cleaning tissue. And uh, it's heavy. Very well packed, premium packaging. Ooh, 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 quite big. Ooh, wow. Uh, this is massive. This is a big eyepiece. Look at it. Look at it. Uh, I wanted to buy Myriad 20 millimeter, which has a really massive eye cup. Uh, probably this size it should have been. And I thought that is big. This is the smallest and lightest. That one is the double, more than double the weight of this. This is around one pound in weight. It's massive. I feel everything is metal. Oh, very hard plastic. Oh, look at the eye cup. And it is connected to the 2 inch uh, adapter, but you can't remove that, I suppose. It has a 2 inch uh, uh, cover, but when you remove that, I suppose, you remove that, you can put the uh, 1 inch, 1 and a quarter inch cover also so that makes it smaller this is practically a gimmick i say that but is a is this type is practically one and a quarter eyepiece what well, gives you 100 degrees like any other eyepiece which has a is even teleview ethos has such a thing and they say in the website also that this is like that teleview also sells that so this is just for adapting it to a two inch adapter which is more sturdy and can handle heavier weights very easy to handle and the fix. The eyepiece looks nice. The eye lens is here. Let me read what is written on this. APM Telescopes Germany HDC 13 mm 100 degrees. It's quite chunky. This is my Skywatcher ED80 telescope. Pro series, series uh, and a uh, Skywater Heritage Virtuoso mount, Dapsonian mount. And I'm going now to put the uh, APM 100 degrees and 30 millimeter high nitrogen purged eyepiece into the 2 inch adapter and Okay, the head side I have to adjust it a little bit, it's heavy at the moment, so I just adjust it then I will show the view. Okay, now we are going to look through the eyepiece. Okay. 
As you can see, the image quality is very clear. It takes the whole field of view of this camera. And that means I'm not looking through a straw. Like the way you look in the Plus or any other eyepiece. Very good. Pleased with the result. Colors are good. Reproduction of the colors. Slight yellowing or reddening at the margins of the image you can see. But when I put position the eye or eye uh, camera in this case in the correct position, that disappears. I heard that the, uh, this is uh, happening with also some of the Sky Watcher was even the uh, Ethos Teleview Ethos had such a problem. So this is inheritance of the design 100 degree eyepieces. So now I've tested the eyepiece. I can say that it's comfortable to look. Our position can be sometimes critical. There is some yellowing at the corners of the image which exists in seems in all the 100 degrees. Am I happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy. This is a good eyepiece. It has a very wide view, angle of viewing. Although it is 13 millimeter, you saw how wide angle, wide angle view has. And I will continue to use this. I'm gonna get 20 millimeter of this also, if I can. And uh, I will test it in the under the darkest sky also. At the moment it's daylight, so I'm looking at the daylight objects. Now I'm using with the without the two inch uh, adapter, just a one inch. The experience in both cases were very immersive. The only thing is that this is a little bit lower the total length when I removed the adapter. And uh, I can say it's really nice. It's very immersive actually. You feel that you're close to the object. You are there. At the same time. Um, I feel that um, my eye has less strain. At the moment, I have a headache. I started the day with a headache. But when I look through this eyepiece, surprise, surprise, I don't have feel the headache. There is no stress on my eyes. The muscles of my eyes where I feel the headache. And I don't feel it when I'm looking through this. I wish they made glasses like that for my <laughs> viewing. Just to every day not have any headache. I don't use glasses, but that's how it is. This is nice for headache, headache remedy. Eyepiece as a headache remedy. The kind of comfort I was feeling when I was using this eyepiece was similar to when I was using the Skywatcher Nirvana 16mm eyepiece. I've got a second pair of that for using as a in a binary viewer. And I'm going to make a video on that later, God willing. But uh, I must say that these wide-angle eyepieces, I have several of them, especially the Max Vision, 24 degrees, 82 degrees eyepiece, are very comfortable for eye. Very, very much comfortable. 